Hey folks, welcome back to Finding Paradise. Okay, so it has been a little while since I last recorded, because life got in the way, but I'm pretty sure we just saw uh, Colin's last flight ever, and that might have been one of his regrets that he didn't do the landing perfectly or something, but I don't know. He seems like he's lived a pretty good life. I'm not sure that he would, um... I'm not sure if that's something that he would fixate on so much, but I guess we'll see. And we've talked about how this whole job has felt off so far, so we could very well be on the wrong path, you know? We could very well be doing this the wrong way, but I guess only time will tell. It's only at the beginning, right? So let's go on to the next memory. Yeah, this is the memento. Okay. Oh. Oh, yeah. Did you not... <laughs> Sup? Dude, I was just about to... Oh. Okay. <laughs> Okay, see, and that's doing this again. Now we're back at childhood. Like, it's skipping around. I'm not sure that if that's supposed to happen or if that's normal for some clients, but... It... I know for a fact it did not happen with Johnny. Uh... Okay, how do we skip to the childhood memories again? And this time the memento isn't even that book. Is there something wrong with the machine, Neil? Huh? It's not the machine. At least, I don't think it is. Well, I guess at least we know that we can go back now. Let's just hope this doesn't interfere with finishing the job. Relax, we'll manage. See, and him telling us to relax doesn't really help me either. Usually, this means that there is a problem. Is there literally anything else left, Miss Miller? No. This is your instrument. Get used to it. <laughs> the cello. <sighs> Loved playing cello as a kid, my ass. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Wow, you belong at a grade school. Your childish jabs aside, Ava. <laughs> And on an unrelated note, this place kind of makes me feel like I'm on the set of some indie French film. Uh, what? What about this possibly makes you feel that way? Uh, I don't know, just a feeling. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, am I getting latent vibes from this, or is, just, is that just me? I like it, actually. Something a little different. Um, literally nothing else for you to look at, are we sure? If you wanted something else, you should have lined up earlier. Also, yeah, sorry if my voice feels a little- like, sounds a little off. Like, I've been having a sore throat for, like, a lot of last week, and that also kind of contributed to me not recording for a bit. So, I don't know, I, I have some tea here. Hopefully that'll be good for me today. Hey, don't push! I called it on the violin! It's so light to carry. I'm gonna get the flute. It fits on my backpack. Yeah, um... Hmm. Did you see that? Is he carrying that thing or is it carrying him? Looks like just a floating case from behind. I mean, this... It sounds ridiculous, but kids really will bully over anything. Take it from a teacher. They really will find the dumbest things to make fun of. Wow, this is awkward to watch. Ava, why do we get all these, all these losers as our clients? Maybe because you're here, moron. Huh, <laughs> nice. Aw, oh, well that's a nice compliment under Gauss's Law for Magnetism. Uh, okay. Um, oh, is that it? Is there nowhere else to go? I guess we can always go back to the school. Right. 
Let's leave him alone. Oh wait, he already is. Oh, don't be a dick. He's a child, okay? <laughs> hmm. Huh. I have a feeling these aren't exactly replicas from the actual setting. You know what? I was just about to say that, like, this whole thing with the lockers being trees is very... Very reminiscent of a bird story. With that, like, surreal dreamlike quality. Like, look at, that, look at that transition from, like, the hallway to the... Like, to the playground, like, foresty area. Like... Yeah, I don't think this is actually supposed to happen as a part of the simulation. Like, this is supposed to be... How... How Colin actually remembers it. So if any of you have played a bird story, I think you know what I'm talking about. It's as if his memories took quite the creative liberty in mixing things up. Yeah. Isn't that machine built with public domain data stabilizers to prevent this? Uh, yeah, but maybe broken? Maybe. You're the tech specialist. Yeah, I'll have a look afterward. Wait, didn't he say that he reconfigured the machine? Like, at the very beginning? Something about that, right? Maybe that's something to do with that. What's he doing? Counting dirt, I guess. Oh. Colin? Colin! Uh, the answer is C. What? What? Oh, that's strange. I'll ask you again. What is the radius of this circle? Uh... Where's your head at, Colin? Go stand out in the hall. I think I saw something on the wall back there. Uh, on the wall. Oh, I, I didn't even see it. What is this? Huh. That could be our ticket out of here. Alright. I think if we could reach it. We could reach it if we, if we just... Nah, I got this. Let me find a way. What? Go stand out in the hall. How do I do this? What's happening? Alright, now watch this. Is that a freaking wand? Wait, you didn't disable the- Mobilieris, uh, teacher's deskus. Uh, what the hell are you doing? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh! And down. I mean, again, I know these people aren't real, but, like, don't freak them out, you know? Did you kids just flip and see that? Dude. Reset. Oh, god. Okay, first of all, disable reactive interactivity before you pull that stuff. And second of all, that's not even how that spell goes. Uh, yeah, it is. Do you see that thing fly? They sure did, you village idiot. <laughs> well, that again, that was not ideal, but... I guess we'll do it for now. You know, you would think that he'd be able to just... take the clock down from the wall instead. This seems like a more roundabout way to do it, but sure. Yeah, whatever. Hmm. What? Nothing. I, I guess I was expecting you to start saying dumb things again. Ava, do you know how draining it is to unleash a Kamehameha and a Hadouken simultaneously? <laughs> God, he's such a fucking dork. I mean, I know I'm a pro, but even I need my beauty sleep. Alright. Yeah, sure. Why not? Ooh, this might be a tough fee. Okay, or not. Alright, 
nice. I still like the tile puzzles better. But anyway, let's press on. Who knows where we'll end up from here, because apparently the rules don't matter anymore. Oh wow, and back at the house. Or the apartment. Uh, are we back at the old age period again? Well, I mean, we... Oh yeah, I guess we are. Wow. And here it is. The perfect retirement apartment. We sure are. Okay. I think I got it figured out. Hmm? I mean, we haven't just been jumping back and forth randomly, right? There's a pattern to it. With all our other patients, we began from the most recent point and gradually traced backwards. And in this case, it did start like that. For the first few memories in his oldest time, everything went just as normal. But then, we somehow got slingshotted. All the way to the earliest accessible memory. So we cleared that, and once again we leaped back. To the older times, where we left off. Then to the earlier ones again, moving forward. What the hell? And once more to the older time, moving backward. These jumps aren't in a random order, nor, the, nor do they form just any pattern. It's the pattern of a decaying orbit. It's almost as if we're being pulled in, spiraling towards a gravitational center. A gravitational center, huh? Inappropriate context for physics aside, what do you think is causing this? Some oh-so-deep event of melodramatic angst that traumatized our fine gentlemen? I don't know. Maybe it is a memory of that sort, but... Maybe it's something else. Uh, something else? What could be here other than memories? Like I said, I don't know. It's just that we've seen a lot of patients, and there's never been a memory that's done this. Alright, I guess at least this one isn't routine then. Um, let's see. I don't know what that means then. Like, at first I thought it probably was just something wrong with the machine, but maybe something bad really did happen to him. One bedroom with balcony, and there's also attic for storage. How often do you find attics in the apartment, huh? Not to mention the lake view. Wait, what the hell? Where's Colin? Where's Colin in his own memory? Wait, oh no. I just got a really bad feeling. I thought the lake is on the other side of the building, though. Yeah, but this unit's on the edge. You can see it if you hold out a mirror from the balcony. Okay. Here, have a brochure. Where's... where is Colin? Okay, there he is. I don't know why he isn't showing up there. At the entrance. And this is the kitchen. Oh wait, that's him. Okay, never mind. <laughs> At first I couldn't see his face, so it might have been like Asher or something. Okay, that's him. Jesus Christ. If you pay attention to the walls, you'll notice that it hasn't had even one, even one fire accident. Of course, if, I, if it had, the whole place would have been surely burnt down, being an apartment and all. Wait, what? Oh, I mean, of course it won't happen because y'all seem like careful folks, right? I guess what I'm saying is, uh, fire safety is very important. Jesus. I mean, yeah, I feel better knowing that, like, yes, Colin is in fact here. I don't know how I 
missed that. Maybe maybe I am sick. Maybe I am just like slightly out of it, <laughs> you know, because I've been a little out of it all week. Um, but still, still the spooky music is playing. The ominous music is playing. So I don't know. Something feels wrong. Something feels incorrect. You know. Look, I'm sorry. I'm just really new at this. Yeah, it just feels strange. And as you can see, this is why they call this the Lakeview Residence. Uh huh. I mean, you can't literally see because the lake's behind us on the other side, but. If you extend your head off the balcony to the left, you might be able to see a bit of it. Don't, though, you'd fall off. Okay, on we go. Again, this feels weird. A lot of it feels weird. So, what do you think? Well, it is nice and quiet. I like it. Me too, but... I would have liked it better if you didn't- if you just didn't talk, Fred. Yeah, that really didn't help at all. If you weren't my cousin's friend's brother, we would have walked out by now. More like ran out. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm not good at sales. So, uh, sorry to be blunt, but are you gonna take it? Because there's a deposit fee, you see. Which technically I could elope with, but I promise I- Stop talking. We'll take it. Mm-hmm. You said you're a musician, right? This room is perfect for performances. There's- very little room for an audience, though, so you'd probably be playing alone. Which is kind of sad, but I digress. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Huh. Wasn't this just a brochure a moment ago? That's what I thought. Uh, I guess he just folded it. What's the issue? Oh, hmm. Well, if I'm guessing right... Being a memento, it's kind of odd that it came to be without a scene. Huh. In any case, it's, a, it's at least it's, at least it's convenient. I didn't see another way out of this place. Yeah, I suddenly don't like that very much either. It's gotta be one more in the attic, probably, right? That's what I thought. An attic in an apartment, isn't it amazing? I think this floor is otherwise reserved for heating and utility units for the building. If something in the building explodes, I guess it'd probably hit pretty close. Oh, oh lord. This guy really does suck. Okay. Okay, I'm, starting, I'm trying to feel spooked about this memory leap thing, but it isn't helping. I had a feeling there'd be something off. And that paper plane didn't help. Makes me feel like I should be I should be getting something. You have some kind of message that the game the game's trying to tell me already. Well here it goes.
he had that dog he was going to me too. Something that isn't right about that either. Slinged back again, huh? Yup, your theory still checks out. Okay, let's place bets. What? Bets on what's causing that this anomaly, of course. Your guesses versus mine. Oh, get a life. Dibs on the first guess, I bet. Dibs on first guess, then. <laughs> bet you ten dollars it's about a girl. Suddenly a romantic, aren't you? No, just the fact that with these things, it's always about some girl. Well, it can be about a guy, too. Trying to be inclusive here. Not everything is about some girl, Neil. Besides, I think we've seen enough from his own memory to say that he's happily married. And... Hey! Well? What? what? Oh. Oh. Uh, well. Neil might have a point. What you doing up there? Yes, you. I see you standing up there like that every day. What are you guys looking at? There you are. <laughs> so, got a name? Uh, you do have a name, right? Colin. What? Oh, I can't hear you. I said my name is Colin! Huh? You're Colin what? What? No, um, let me just... Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay... I mean, are they really gonna repeat the same story again? Him being affected by this one woman, this one girl. I can't even say she's a woman yet, but. A green notebook with a pen clip inside. Right? I think something's not lining up for me here. I don't know. Hey! I'm gonna throw this paper plane over! I wrote stuff on it, so just catch it, okay? I was gonna say, just speak louder, but... Okay. Okay, here goes. <laughs> yeah, I figured. Uh, hold on. Dumb kid has no respect for the laws of physics. He's like nine, dude. Hey, it's all right. You need to concentrate, okay? Just keep your eyes on me and throw as hard as you can. If you try hard enough, I'm sure you can do it. I believe in you. Okay, okay, I can do this. Here it goes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you should have seen your determined face! That's not funny. You can't throw it against the wind, silly. No matter how hard you try. What do you think was gonna happen? <laughs> I'm going inside. Okay, wait, wait, don't go! So, Colin, right? I thought you didn't hear. Yeah, well, I think I've actually seen you on the way to school. 
What does that have to do with... You go to the one just across the woods from here, right? Yeah? Oh, well, I go to the one just across the street from yours. The private school? Yep, yep. <laughs> Lucky. Why? Well, because it's all exclusive and costs money and stuff. Oh, I guess. People are all snobby there, though. They are? <laughs> nah, I'm just trying to make you feel better. <laughs> hey, let's walk to school together next time. Why? Because I like you, silly. You're just the right amount of dumb. <laughs> Damn. What's that supposed to mean? Besides, have you heard about the bear attacks in the woods? No, I've only seen badgers. What did you hear? Oh, no, I didn't hear anything either. Well, that's why I'm suspicious. It's a little too quiet. Anyway, you practically go the same route, right? It'd be good to stick together. I guess so. Oh, what the hell? Ugh. What was that? Huh? She just ran back in when they came out. Yeah, that's weird. Uh, it's not that uncommon for kids to be scared of the parents. Back when I was young, I knew I knew a kid that had one scary mother. Oh. Saw her spanking him with a spatula once. Never ate her brownies after that. Oh. Wait, let me read about that. Oh, I guess that, that's it. Oh, that's interesting. We saved it as two different uh, things for an inventory. Weird. Okay, well, anyway. And there we are. Oh, another clock. Don't you dare do anything. I'm getting this one. Let me at least take it off the wall for you. No! Just don't. It's not even that high. We don't need to take it down. Okay. <laughs> what a weirdo kid. Anything else to see over here? A Rue Dog plush choices in the bookcase. It doesn't seem like he's playing with, with it much. Poor Rue Dog. <laughs> On the upside, I wish I had the TV all to myself when I was a kid. You and Rue Dog. Why is he practicing in the bathroom? Because the bathroom reverb makes it sound awesome, of course. Yeah, you sure you sure seem knowledgeable. Like, how'd you know that? Back when I played the triangle, I did it all the time. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's rough. Wow. Not even the fabled bathroom reverb could save that crap. How am I still missing one?
not exactly sure what I'm missing. Weird. A blurry note from Colin's mom. Okay. I'm just gonna check everything here. Sweet blender. Oh, that's it? Oh, I didn't see the TV blinking. Hold on. Today's classical guitar concert is sponsored by Meow Blend. <laughs> Why can't we have a jingle this catchy? One can only dream. Coming up next on Classics Replay, The Godfather. Holds on, I kind of want to stay and watch this. <laughs> ah, there it is. Okay. Well, we've got time for one more puzzle. Some blanks help to remember. Some help to forget. Okay, so I think I'm going to call it here, but I did want to say that I'm really glad that we're getting into what's actually wrong with this job, or maybe what's wrong with the machine or something like that. Like, that's not getting pushed aside or ignored for now. We are finding clues on that. Um, I am concerned about what it means for our safety. Like, if this um, means that we could be stuck in these memories, stuck in the machine somehow, um, you know, even aside from what it could do to, you know, to the memories or how it could affect the job, right? So I'm excited to learn more about that as we press on. And yeah, I'm still having a good time. So anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.